In this video, we're going to talk about economic systems, the different forms of economies that are out there. We're going to cover five types of economies, the traditional economy, command economy, market economy, mix economy, and the underground economy. Well, let's start with the traditional economy. So this one is the oldest of the economic systems that are out there. The occupations typically stay in the family. For instance, if your father is a blacksmith, chances are you'll be a blacksmith. If your parents are farmers, chances are you'll learn to trade for them and you'll be farmers as well. Now, the good thing about the traditional economy, one advantage is that it doesn't take a toll on the environment. Environmental pollution is very, very limited because you're not producing tons of products. You're only producing what will be consumed by your family or by your local community. Now, this type of economy is still in existence today. It's very common in tribal and rural communities. One disadvantage is that innovation and economic progress is typically low. Things tend to stay the same in those areas. Next up, we have the command economy. So this type of economy contains a centralized structure. Basically, the government or the ruling class controls the economy. They own the resources, they own the businesses, they control the means of production. So the government or the ruling class in a command economy decides what products should be made, at what price to sell it at, and also how to produce the product and how much to pay the workers. Now, one disadvantage of this type of economy is as a worker, you can't control the amount of income that you make, nor does it encourage production for workers. Because imagine if you're a worker and you're in this type of economy and your salary is set at, let's say, $1,000 a week. You might reason, well, there's no point for me to work hard because if I work hard or if I spend extra hours at work, my pay will still be $1,000. So some people may have the mentality to take it easy, to do the bare minimum because the pay will be the same. And so that's one disadvantage of the command economy is that the government decides how much to pay the workers. And if there's no performance-based pay, workers will, have, will lack the incentive to work harder. Now, this type of economy does have some advantages. It provides basic public services at low cost. However, innovation and creativity is typically low due to lack of incentives. A good example of the command economy is ancient Egypt, where Pharaoh basically controlled the economy during that time. Now, let's move on to number three market economy. Well, this economy is quite different from the command economy. We saw that the command economy contains a centralized structure where the government controls it. But in the market economy, it contains a decentralized structure. It's controlled by market forces. In this economy, the market determines the price level and the quantity of goods and services sold. So for instance, let's say if you're a business, you're not going to try to sell a laptop for more than what it's worth. Let's say the laptop that you make, the going price is $500. If you try to sell it for $3,000, there's not going to be many people that's going to buy it. And so you're going to be forced to bring down the price if you want to sell it. And in that sense, the market determines the price level and how much of a product you can sell it for at that price. Now, this particular economy is based on private enterprise. This is where private individuals, they control the means of production. In a command economy, the government controls the means of production. They own the resources and the businesses. But in the market economy, private individuals own resources such as land, labor, and capital, and they also own businesses. So in this economy, individuals supply goods at prices 
based on consumer demand with the motive of maximizing profit. Now, one advantage of this particular economy is personal income. In this economy, your personal income is based on your ability to create products of high value. In a command economy, your income is based on whatever the government sets for that particular job. So that's one disadvantage of the command economy. But with the market economy, if you own your own business, you can control your income based on the products you create. Now, there are some disadvantages with the market economy. For one, it doesn't provide basic needs and services to all citizens, especially those services that are not profitable. And this is where the government has to step in. They may have to provide services such as utilities, electricity, water, and other things like that if it's not profitable for businesses to do that. But in the command economy, the government already provides those basic public services at low cost. Next up is the mixed economy. So this economy contains elements of traditional command and market economy. And most countries would fall in this category. So let's use a number line to illustrate this. So on the left side of the spectrum, we're going to have the market economy. And on the right side of the spectrum, we're going to put the command economy. And in the middle, we're going to have a mixed economy. So where would you say the U.S. falls in this number line? Would you say it's a mixed economy, a command economy, a market economy, or somewhere between these extremes? Well, the U.S. is mostly a market economy, but it does contain government regulation. And so it's relatively a mixed economy, but it's closer towards the market spectrum. China is similar to a command economy, but they do have elements of a market economy, but they're closer to the command side of the spectrum. So China will be over here. So many countries, they have mixed economies. They contain elements of both market and command economies. However, some countries might have more elements of a market economy than elements of a command economy, as in the case of the US. The last economy that we're going to talk about in this video is the underground economy. So this is where buyers and sellers engage in transactions without having the approval of the government. Let's say if someone is selling something without a license, that could be they're in the underground economy or the black market. So that's basically it for this video. So now you understand the differences between the five economic systems that we covered in this video, the command economy, the market economy, the traditional economy, the mixed economy, and the underground economy or the black market. Thanks for watching.